Time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Brought to you by Remington Rand, makers of the world's number one electric shaver, the Remington. Now, let's all play What's My Line? And now, let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers from coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And now, on my left, our guest panelist, that former extra padded attraction, Mr. Jackie Leonard. And now, to my left, that half hour of charm, Miss Arlene Francis. <laughs> and when I make it for an hour, Jack, you'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there any time. And now to my left comes a gentleman who is publishing one of the funniest books I have ever read. It's coming out, I think, next week called Don't Go Near the Water. It's a riot, and so is he, Mr. Bennett Cerf. Well, it's my pleasant duty to introduce our Master of Ceremonies. And if you'd like to read the real McCoy on our Master of Ceremonies, on Tuesday, the new Saturday Evening Post will be out. And it's a story about him with all his quirks and peccadilloes and his early friends, Arthur Godfrey and all the other fellows he consorted with. And here he is himself, Mr. John Daly. Thank you, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. Once again tonight, we're up to our usual tricks. We're going to give the panel a break. They don't have to put their blindfolds on for the first challenger. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before this panel of ours a little bit later in the show. And we'll meet our first challenger in just 30 seconds. We'll meet our first challenger. Would you come in and sign in, please, ma'am? <laughs> Kim? Maya, is it? Maya. Maya, how do you do? And I would now like to make a little speech about why I love my work. <laughs> Where are you from, Miss Meyer? From Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. Well, that's nice for Jacksonville, and it's nice for us that you decided to travel. Would you look at the panel? How about coming over and shaking? That will be all of that, Mr. <laughs> Sir. Come over here with me, Miss Meyer, and sit down, and I wonder if you're familiar with our scoring system, are yes, you? Yes, I am. Well, if you are, there's nothing left to do but let the folks at home and our friends here know exactly what your line is. Panel, Miss Meyer is self-employed. With that, Bennett, you so interested in Miss Meyer, we'll let you start the general question. <laughs> well, Miss Meyer, may I ask you an obvious question? Have you recently been, or are you about to be, concerned in some manner or other with a beauty contest? That's right. You are? Yes. I don't think it's a contest. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Mr. Levitt. Oh, I would you. say this, Bennett, so that you do not walk a lonely path. While this fact is a certainly correct one, it is not necessarily a guide to Miss Meyer's line. You mean the fact that uh, I was about to say, are you going to be, are you Miss Florida or about to be Miss Florida or something of that sort? I am Miss Florida. You, you are Miss Florida. But that's not what I'm supposed to guess? No. That, no. <laughs> you mean besides being Miss Florida, you also have an occupation? That's right. At which you, uh, you are self-employed. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, has it got anything to do with men? Hasn't <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> <And> everything? <laughs> Don't look Sometimes? at me. Sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> now, I would say this, Bennett, except that incidentally, in the conduct of almost any line of endeavor, uh, you come into contact with the opposite sex. We would not be, I think, properly serving the interests of the panel if we were to admit that there was a basic liaison 
with men connected with the line. Oh, Therefore, you're going to give me a no for that? You're getting a no for that. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Could I ask a question that won't help anybody with the game, but sure. I'd just like to know before she gets away? Yeah. Could you tell me where you got your shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph LaRose. In, in Florida? You can't make it, Dorothy. <laughs> Thank you, just the same. Uh, is there a product involved in what you do, Miss Meyer? Yes. Uh, is it something I could hold in my hand? Yes. Could I use this product? Yes. Uh, could you buy it in a store? Yes. Is it solid rather than liquid? Yes. Would it be found in the home? Yes. Is it useful? Yes. Is it also decorative? Yes. Sometimes. Uh, is it uh, something that would come in a bottle or a can rather than a package? No, if it were solid, what am I saying? You it's those that shoes. <laughs> uh, May I revise the question yeah. a little, please? Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I think I'll forget it. Uh, is it something that would ever be found in the kitchen? Yes. Is it edible? Yes. Ooh. Would you eat it at the main meal of the day? Good. Yes, mm -hmm. rather than breakfast. You want to ask the question rather than Well, breakfast? would it be more, uh, more suitable? Well, of course. Uh, <laughs> There's them shoes. Go on, yes. Dorothy. Um, would it be in the family of foods that have ever been alive or connected with a living thing, such as an egg? Ever connected with a living thing, such as an egg? I would say it's been connected with a living thing. Yeah. Would you buy it at a dairy store, or could you buy it at a dairy store? Yes. Well, is it eggs? Do you yes. have something to do with eggs? Yes. <laughs> Arlene just said she doesn't lay them, that's for sure. <laughs> um, you have something to do with eggs. Well, now, is it something other than having your own chickens? Or do you have your own chickens? Should I ask it that way and get a fast no? Do Are they your, own chickens? your eggs from your chickens? Yeah. Are you a chicken farmerette or whatever it is? <laughs> When we would have to accept that. She's an egg farmer, but I guess you've got to be a chicken farmer to be an egg farmer in a way, although you could raise chickens not to have eggs, and then you'd be a chicken farmer and not an egg farmer, and you'd get much fewer eggs. Right? Right. Wow, I think I'll Flip go into this egg farmer business. Yeah, you're wasting your time with those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's the sharpest chick I ever saw. Oh, no. no. Actually, Miss Meyer is co-owner with her dad of um, Russell's Poultry Farm in Jacksonville. Okay. And it's Miss Florida Universe, only, I would say, incidentally, you're going to compete for Miss USA. Yes, sir. Well, I would say we're very well represented, ma'am, and uh, I hope you come back with the crown thoroughly and heartily won and firmly lodged on that lovely blonde hair of yours. Thank you very much, Mr. Davis. We never talk about color television on this program, but we will talk about it if I let you stick around here very long. Thanks very much for being our guest. It was wonderful having you. But let's see what you can do with a second challenger. Would you come in and sign in, please? Carol? <laughs> Carol Tegner, is that yes. right? <laughs> and now I will make a slightly longer speech about why I like my work. Where are you from, Miss Tegner? I'm from Hollywood, California. Hollywood, California. Uh, this is our panel. Would you say a sort of group hello to them? How do you do? Then come with me. Oh, mm, mm, mm. And sit right down here. <laughs> and do you know how we score this operation? Yes, I do. Fine, then let's let everybody at home and those who are with us here know exactly what your line is. Tegna also is self-employed. And let's begin the general questioning with Jack Leonard. Self-employed. Is there a product connected to what you do, nurse? <laughs> no. <laughs> One down and idea. mine to go, Miss Francis. <laughs> no short trips are murder, aren't they? <laughs> is there anything entertaining about what you do? Yes. 
In a way, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. in a way. Uh, do you do what you do with anything else? Yes. Is the anything else that you do what you do with alive? Yes. Yeah, most of the time, I would say, would you? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Uh, would you consider yourself a performer in any sense of the word? Sometimes. <laughs> do you have anything to do with animals? Sometimes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Just talk me out of an animal. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go ahead, Miss Francis. You're just doing this to be mean, John, aren't you? <laughs> Throw me off the scent. Um, what kind of animal were you referring to? A bloodhound, according to that laugh. <laughs> uh, do you work out of doors? Yes. Do you wear anything other than what you have on now when you perform? Sometimes. But you could wear this sort of thing Definitely. when you perform? You could? Yes. Do, do people watch you at your work ever? Yes. When you're performing, they watch you. Uh, yes. Do you, um, is there anything that requires dexterity in your job? Skill. Dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our panel words. Uh, well, I... Do you do anything at all that is connected in any way with the picture business, or could you in your job? Yes. Do you do any stunt of any kind? Yes, you might call it that, but I doubt it. <laughs> There's the kindest answer you've had in all the years we've been together, Miss <laughs> I, think, I just think she's modest. Uh, do you ever perform with a horse? No. No, no horse. <laughs> Just no, let me go. No, <laughs> Miss Tegner, you said that you you are connected in some way with movies. Is that correct? Sometimes. Sometimes. You sometimes do what you do for other than motion pictures. Yes. Do you ever do your work for a... Could you do your work for a carnival or circus? No. No, I would say this. We'll give you a no, Bennett. I think we have to, for Miss Tegner's particular line, this does not rule out the possibility that what Miss Tegner does might have some connection with a carnival with respect to other individuals. Miss Kilgallen. Is there anything risky about what you do? No. There isn't, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Me for Miss Tegner. No, I'd say this uh, to clear this up. Uh, it's a known fact that it might be, but it's not actually factual. Well, would I think it might be? Yes, you would. <laughs> That's all I cared about. <laughs> yes, I think in that context, Miss Kilgallen, you can continue if you'd like. Now, do you ever work with another person? Yes. Could that person be a man? Sometimes. But you could work with another woman? Yes. Do you move about in your work? Yes. Could you double for a star who couldn't do what you did? No. Well, now, wait a minute. Let me have a small conference. That'll be about all, John. <laughs> I will now deliver a slightly longer speech on why I like my work. <laughs> I think here, Dorothy, again, to be fair, the answer is properly no in the terms of Miss Tegner herself. Mm. This does not rule out the possibility that what she does might require or might not require a double in another circumstance. Mr. Leonard. You look like a very happy lioness trainer. <laughs> lioness trainer? <laughs> no, I that don't. That was <laughs> so close. That it? would be risky. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, five down and five to go, Miss France. I'm going to give you one could more you minute. Could you do what you do on water? Could no. You, could you do it on water? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think so. In water, on water. <laughs> Six down and four to go, well, Mr. Could you sir. do what you do, Miss Tegner, in the air? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about it? No. You couldn't do it in the air? Couldn't do it in the air. This, of course, except <laughs> that both your question and Arlene's could be answered affirmatively only in terms of being conveyed on water or conveyed in the air, which is, I'm sure, not what you meant to say. So we'll go on know? with this, Kilgallen. 
Well, are you usually, are your feet usually on something solid part of the time when you're doing what you yes. do? Yes. But you do move around? Yes. Do you ever jump into the air? Yes. Do you do anything that might be considered acrobatic? No. No, not acrobatic. I'm going to flip oh, all the lids, if I may, because... Oh, I Arlene has an idea. One little tiny thing. Yeah. Is it a sport? Yes. Is it like a woman's softball team or something no. like that? No. no. Actually, woman? this Miss Tegner teaches judo. Oh. <laughs> and Miss Tegner and her brother run a school, do they? In right? Hollywood. In yes. Hollywood, the and National have, Judo Association. That's right. We have a branch in Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks. Now, I want to tell you something. Miss Tegner holds the rank of first degree brown belt. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, may I ask a technical question out of curiosity, yeah. John? It has nothing to do with shoes. Uh, do you teach animals judo? Yes, we have judo dogs. Actually, that's a thing we've been fiddling around with for the last four years, and we use them on shows. We were at the Cleveland Sportsman Show with them. They, they play the violin, too? No, they uh, don't. Uh, they're not very musical-minded. No, and I would say this, that I talked to Miss Tegner about this. The violin she's interested in, but they're not talking well enough yet. Oh, okay. Well, she said that they were fiddling around with it. Fiddling around. Oh, well, here we go. And Miss Tegner, on that happy note, thank you. For we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which my... Friends on the panel are blindfolded. Are those blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Good. Sir. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? <laughs> all right, panel, as you know, in the case of our Mystery Challenger, we dispense with the usual form of questioning and go to a new type of questioning in which you ask one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we'll begin it all with Arlene Francis. Well, that round of applause must mean that you are a performer, are you? Yes. Mr. Zerf. Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a mouse. Yeah. It's a girl. Uh, have you ever done any work on television? Yes. Miss Gilgallan. Uh, are you also a motion picture star? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Leonard. Are you at the present time uh, doing anything that uh, earns money for you? Miss <laughs> 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 Francis. That was yes? Yes. Thank heaven. Um, you haven't been in pictures. You've been in television. Have you ever appeared in the theater? Yes. Mr. Sir? Was that, uh, that, that was sort of a dubious yes, or was that just a yes? Hello, Dr. Dubious. Go on with Dr. the Dr. Dubious? <laughs> uh, I was in a, that was a yes, wasn't it? That was a yes, yes, sir. Uh, was this, was it, have you appeared in the Broadway theater within the past year? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Did you ever do a supper club act? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Leonard. With a voice like that, I, 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 I think that she might be a singer or something like that. Are you a singer? Yes. Are you a vocalist with some very small group? No. That was a double question. We'll truck it anyway. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. You are not a singer, then. No, actually, the question was answered affirmatively with respect to singing, but it oh. was negative on the, on the vocalist with a small group. With a small group. No, she's singing with a large group, obviously. Oh, gee, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Then are you best known as a singer? Mm, I would say that that should be answered yes, although so as not to mislead you, there is a very substantial reputation in other areas, too. He certainly has a flair for the dramatics, hasn't he? <laughs> Is Mr. it my turn now? Yes, Mr. Sir. I have a sneaking feeling that you have been a member of this panel on occasion. Am I correct? Miss <laughs> Gilgallan. Was that a yes? Yes. Are you Margaret Truman? Yes! <laughs> Hello, 
producer, take an order. One new desk, please. One new desk. <laughs> Miss oh. Margaret, that was too bad. We were having a lot of fun. Yes. Mrs. Daniel, I think Mrs. she prefers Daniel. to be known. Yes, ma'am, that's yes, the way actually, I Actually, one of the, the first thing that happened, and one of the nicest things, is Miss Margaret, as we're all so used to calling her, came in and found Mrs. Clifton Daniel oh, right sure. up there. He's sitting right outside. He's sitting right outside. Well, and before I find him or he finds me, I will now make the longest speech of the night on why I like my work. <laughs> Here's the reason oh, right here. Oh, love this Actually, Miss Dorothy is going to be in Europe. Uh, next week, she's going Lucky to get a, have a rest. And uh, very nice news. Miss Margaret Truman will be sitting right oh, over there. You? And yeah. Mrs. Clifton Daniel will be right with her. <laughs> this is something like old home week because, well, the panel all knows it, but you all remember our old colleague and friend, Steve Allen. And uh, Margaret Truman is with Steve Allen tonight. Two very nice people. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I caught your act, Margaret, and you were just wonderful. And look, darling. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> hey, it is like old home week, isn't it? <laughs> I like my new haircut. Oh, John, you look superb. That's my you girl. always do. That's my girl. Good thing her husband's a friend of mine, isn't it? Thank you very much for being our guest, and uh, we will look forward to having you with us next week. I'll be here on time. And in the interim, would you say good <coughs> farewell to our colleagues across the way? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to test you very quickly. Let's see what you can do with a couple of challenges. Will you come in and sign in, please? Ed Staley? That's a new Martin Lewis. <laughs> and Mario Calora. Is that right? Good. we score this operation? Yes, we do. Fine, then let's let the folks at home and our friends here know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, now, panel, you have exactly two minutes. Our guests are salaried. We'll begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Have you anything to do with any of the arts? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Leonard. Have you anything to do with sports? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Are you in business? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. The last two fouls we had were the front and rear ends of a horse. Do you do anything of that sort? <laughs> oh. No, I don't think so. Not in that context. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you more or less necessary to each other? We are? One yes, I would say this, Dorothy, that the service that they perform has a front and back, as so to speak, so that they're necessary to the complete completion of the work that's assigned to them. Uh, in other words, one of them would not be apt to work without the other. Well, no, we, don't, we didn't well. want to mislead you to this degree. The work that they do requires the services of both. That does not necessarily mean they both have to be on the scene at the same time. I see. Uh, do you work indoors, ever? Yes. Could your work be carried on out of doors, too? No. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Leonard. It must be a couple of subway guards. <laughs> no. Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Do you have, uh, is there any product at all connected with what you do? Not, no. No, not in our context. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Sir. That's the Staley and Column. Is the indoor work that you do done in, in people's houses? No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you work in an office? No. Nine down and one to go, Mr. Leonard. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, Jack, we'll flip the card. They're train announcers at Pennsylvania Station. Oh, Arrivals. Oh, 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 you were you you very close. Oh, That's right. Oh, 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 oh. And now, before our panel says goodnight, here is a word from next week's sponsor. And now with... Just this preamble, I hope you have a wonderful rest in Europe. This is John Daly saying good night, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen, and bon voyage. Thank you, John. I'll miss you all. Good night, Jack. Have a good trip. Good night, Arlene. I'll certainly miss you till next Sunday. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Good night. Have a good time, Dorothy. Good night, Bennett. You have a good John, time, John, too. I'm wondering why you need two train announcers working together. It's hard enough to understand one. But good night. <laughs> And Bennett's going to answer all the mail from the train announcers. That's all I want to know. But thank you very much, Bennett. We had a wonderful night, and thank you all for being with us on What's My Life?
travel arrangements on What's My Line are made through American Airlines. American Airlines flies our contestants in luxurious comfort aboard DC-7 flagships. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with the CBS Television Network. Be sure to watch Remington Rand's other television program, The Ernie Kovacs Show, on another network.